Good morning guys, it's week three of lockdown vlogs and it is Monday the 18th for ten, uh, 5 past 10 and at the minute we're just working, didn't get able to do the stretches, I didn't actually sleep that great, I've got a bit of a stiff neck but we will be doing the stretches and hopefully a bit of a bike ride later. Um, I'm going to be setting up a time lapse of me working shortly because I guess I'm going to be sat here for the next couple of hours. Um, I've got 10 mistakes that sank the Titanic. If you're interested in this stuff, it's on channel 5, I believe, or channel 4. Um, it's great. It's really good, actually. Uh, it's on channel 5. It's really great. So, yeah, I'll see you guys shortly. Let's get another week. Let's get another week and let's stay positive because in these times it's crazy. So let's have another good week. So I'm trying something that a viewer actually asked for is to not walk about all the time and to maybe just pick a location and chat. So I picked the office and I've got it all on a tripod for you guys. So basically I've finished work now. Um, I'm going to do some stretching. Might even go for a bike ride. I just feel... Like, just can't be asked. Like, this is what lockdown does. But I think it might do me some good to get on my bike, um, do some stretching. So I might do my stretches. No, I might go on my bike ride and do my stretches afterwards. Um, so if I do that, here's the action camera footage. And if not, here's a time lapse of the stretches. Wonderful. Good morning, guys. It's Thursday. Nothing has happened for like two days. And I just thought that even though that there's nothing happening, I got fed up of like just being at home um, and nothing really happened. So today I'm picking up the camera. I'm going to set it up somewhere, do a time lapse of me working. We've got some shopping that we're picking up from Sainsbury. Well, Sarah's literally gone to get it now. So I'll show you what we got. So, yeah, hopefully the last three days are going to be a little bit more exciting than the last two because I literally didn't record anything in the last two. So let's get it. One thing that I will say though, I don't think there'll be any outdoor activities because I think it's like Storm Christopher's wrecking up the place. So might be a bit windy, but if it's not, you'll see us outside doing some bits and bobs. Let's get it. So Sarah's just come back from picking up the shopping and we've got some bits and bobs. Some, oh, we've got some washing detergent. But uh, basically, we're like, we normally do like a, a big monthly shop and then um, do like another little one just to top up with some things. So I'm just going to put that away now. It's after work now and I've come downstairs and I'm going to be doing some computer maintenance. So I'm going to just make sure that the IOU for my CPU water cooler is full and also going to just cable manage and make sure it's nice. De-dust, I set up a nice time lapse for you. Let's get it. Guys, it's Friday. This is the first bit of the vlog. I'm shampooing the <laughs> bit of my braids. So, got lunch, Sarah just brought it. Lunchable. Got another one downstairs, I'm gonna demolish them both. Might go for a walk, it's actually nice, but it's fucking cold. So it's the afternoon on Friday. I'm fed up of being in the house, so I'm going to go and do some football exercises. Gonna be doing these sprint challenges that like Ronaldo does. So yeah, I'm gonna set up a action camera. Gonna have my phone on a time lapse and I'm just gonna see uh, what types of things I can do. So yeah, let's get it. So, I've spent the last couple of days in the house. I've decided to put myself through the paces. So, like sometime in February, Ronaldo did this course, or very similar course. I couldn't find it anywhere. It's a part of the Juventus training, but I couldn't find it anywhere online. So if you guys could help me find it so I can actually do it to scale. I know the F2 freestylers did something, but yet again, they didn't do 
didn't tell me how big it all was, so I sort of had to guess. So, if she's following me, I'll show you what I've got to do in a slow, in a slow burst. Move this crap out of the way. So basically, this is my start and finish line. It's all about sprint and agility this is, so this will be quite nice for me. I feel like we've got to move that pole, by the way. Mm. Uh, but So from here, I sprint. I go in and out. Ronaldo did quite big steps, that's why I've done it um, with a bit of a space. I sprint to this one. I we haven't got any uh, jumpy over things, so we put cones. So I jump over this one, jump over this one. I've just incorporated the goal. And from here, push this one to the end here, sprint it into this cone here, to this cone, back to the start, and then back on myself. So come into, is it the end one? Is it this one? Mm, the closest. This one. Then that one. Mm -hmm. Then here. So here. So the middle. Then here. Goal. Then here. 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 Back to, I feel like that's not how he does it. Right, so we've actually fixed it. So my first run, I got 43 seconds in. That's 13 seconds off of what Ronaldo did. We can't get it exact, so it's going to be give and take. I feel like some of the sprints are a little bit out, but basically we've uh, got it popped now where we sprint from there, in and out of here, to here, from here, I sort of twizzle my body, leap, leap, from here. Ladder, yeah. Go from here to the ladder, to the far goal post, back to this goal post, a sprint from this one to here, from here, I go round, round the start again, then I go post, post, to this one here no far okay far post then to there to here to the ladder to the ladders and from the ladders I can keep my body kind of straight leap 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 sprint and then straight down to the bottom so through and then back here. My goal in this first run is to try and push myself to get 40 seconds. Gives me 10 seconds off Ronaldo's time. And then hopefully I'll be able to do a bit more research to find out the distances and set it up properly. Because for example, Ronaldo, we're just using the goalposts, but Ronaldo from like these, literally just did a big step to get that cone in. So we'll roll with it for now and then we'll see what we can do when we get better equipment. So we're now in the kitchen, we're now cooking dinner. 
Sarah is cutting up peppers and onions. Yep. We're having fajitas. I don't know if I actually mentioned that. So let me uh, get you positioned up. Sarah's munching on a pepper. So basically, if I do this, we prepared the chicken earlier, uh, a dash of oil, and then we use old El Paso. Uh, we went for the smoky barbecue because that's the best flavor that they have. And for a little bit of uh, spice. Um, we also went for a bit of fajita seasoning. This is from the co-op. No, it's not, that's from Lidl. From Lidl. Um, it is a medium in hotness, so I don't know what that is. But this one is mild. Um, I'm gonna add a little bit more of this to the chicken. I say a little bit. I mean, I'll pack it. And then basically what we do is we're gonna fry off the chicken in the pot and then um and what do we do afterwards we just let it cook let it cook fry um so we fry the chicken sides, off. then put the veg in cook it whole and then i cut it up afterwards okie dokie so um can i have a spoon or something Oh, well, I need to mix this in. Oh. That's what we want. Sorry. My hands feel gross, I think. Oh, gin? Uh, yeah, I will have a gin. So, the reason why we cook the chickens whole is because I, I personally think that it, um, and I think Sarah agrees, yep. that it um, keeps the flavours in, as if you cut it up while it's not it already like all the flavor goes and it's a little bit meh so we actually cut the chicken whole and we got another one of these open no i'm sure it'll be fine sorry for the cupboard in the face guys so we're just going to wait for the pan to heat up so you can see everything that's going on um God, I really didn't prep for this. Normally I would have the pan the other way, but because of the camera and stuff. So this is now producing a lot of heat. So what I will do, keep my fingers nice and clean, is I'm gonna, oh yeah. Dash the chicken into the pan. Just like so. I think might need a bigger pan. Um, and I'm going to try and get this last bit in. Wow. So guys, we we have we're having gin. And a big shout out to Sarah's brother. He bought us this ice thing and it makes the ice into balls. Um, ice orbs off of the Amazon. Okay. Which are you having? Uh, Canterbury, so I'm going to have lemonade. So I've been on it. Wow. So I've only recently, well, I say recently, I've only started to really enjoy gin in the in recent times um, I do like um, Spoon's ultraviolet gin that's my favorite but obviously Spoon's a shirt so I am currently drinking a beef eater uh, beef eater pink strawberry a with a lemonade it's very nice now the key is is to not do what I've just done and let, let the chicken sit I need to do this side Ah, oh, my fingers! So, it's just about sealing it really and I've kind of overdone that 
Um, so it's just about sealing. Um, and then we'll put the veg in, which is over here. And then we'll start prepping for the rest of the dinner. So with fajitas um, in the UK, I'm not sure what it's like for other places, we're going to have them in wraps and pitta, because that's how we roll. But we're going to have like cheese bits of sweet corn. Yeah, bits of sweet corn if we've got any. You know what that will do? A mayo, basically. Right, so we're now going to chuck in the veg. Yeah. I think it tastes better than normal cheese. How you grate it? Are you a or a one way. I'm a one way. I'm a one way. There's a lot of people that were like, like, drag down and back up again. So, guys, what type of cheese grater are you? So, do you want to. I don't know. Uh, get, get yourself right in it. Lift it above. Oh, are you a, a, a lift? Are you a. Are a you one a, way or a backwards and forwards type? Yeah, of I think the backwards and forwards people are backwards crazy. And forwards, Right, so we're going to put the, the chicken. Uh, might need a bit of a. Yes, I also agree. I feel like th there's not enough sauce. There's normally a sauce, don't I mean? Uh, it's not really heated, that's only for the Is it not really. Am I being crazy? Yeah, there's heat there, it's like dry. Chuck that all over me. Oh my god! So we're now ready to eat. Um, the chicken's done. It's a bit dark in this corner, but the chicken's done. We've got some cheese. We've got the mayo. We've got some cucumber. Yeah. And uh, I'm having my first one in a pit, but I've got wraps there. I'll catch you after I eat doing something else, I guess.